Are you warm enough yet? Well, that fire is getting pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, Dad, while everybody's here, why don't you tell that story about Jim Patterson, that big buck? Oh. Uh, you know the one I'm talking about? Jim Patterson, you don't know him, Darren, but he's my, my, my ex-brother-in-law now. Met my sister in Kansas City. Married a couple years later, moved down here, and Jim and I worked clearing Bull Shoals Lake for a company. Okay. Well, we deer hunted a lot, and every time we went deer hunting, it seemed like I'd, I'd put Jim in the best place, you know, always. And I'd kill the buck, and he wouldn't get nothing. Well, season closed this one particular winter. And long about the 1st of January, Jim and I was talking, and he said, Man, I have got to kill me a big rack buck. I've got to have a nice big rack, you know? And I said, Well, Jim, I tell you what, we've got these six cell flashlights. I know where I bet you we can find one. He said, Well, let's go. So we took off and drove over off of 14 Highway to a little road that went back in there a ways and parked our truck, walked a little ways, just, just kind of a growed up field, you know, and it sloped off on both sides. And I said, now Jim, he took this old 44 Winchester. And I said, now you take that side there and I'll go down this side over here. So we start down through either side there with our flashlights, you know, walking for, looking for deer. Pretty soon I heard that 44 go off over there, just about 150 yards from me over there. So I go scampering over there, you know. Here's this big old buck. I'm talking about a nice big rack buck, too. Down and kind of hobbling off, and Jim was just following along behind him there, you know. And I said, Jim, Rumper, shoot him in the back of the head. And old Jim goes up there and takes that 44 and goes, whoom, you know. Blows that big old antler off <laughs> and kind of hits him in the head. Good. <laughs> I, I ran up there and shot the deer through the head. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you what, that's the maddest man you ever saw. It's all he was, that big old rack, you know. He blowed it right off.